You want your supports to pop off like this? Stick around and I'll share my settings. What's up all, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to make this quick video. Um, I know I don't post a ton on YouTube uh, here, but on all my other social media platforms, um, shorts, reels, things like that, people are always asking me what my support settings are and I'm going to share them here. Um, so I typically use a lot of Pet G and I don't um, typically use multiple different filaments. I stick with the same stuff. I keep my printers pretty much where they need to be with all the filament that I do use between PETG and what little PLA or ASA that I use. Um, so in uh, me learning all of these things and dialing in my support settings, um, I pretty much have all the profiles saved at this point. And all I have to do now is just put on that profile of what filament I'm using I don't have to mess with it anymore. And now I still run the calibrations once a month. I still double check them and test them each time I run the calibration because there have been a couple times where I've run calibrations on my bamboo or uh, one of the Creality printers or something along those lines. And then I have to adjust it just a little bit. But for the most part, they're, they're typically in the same area. Now, um, the reason I'm making this video about dialing in supports is because to me, they're very important. I do a lot of post-processing, I build a lot of droids, and I want my prints to be about as easy as possible to work with and not having to do the extra uh, filling and sanding and priming and all the other stuff. So I just like these supports themselves just popping off. And we're gonna get into that right now. Now, these supports I have tried on Bamboo Slicer. I typically use Orca these days. Uh, lately with my K2 Plus, I've been using Creality Print and these settings typically work across the board. I don't have any issues with them. Um, and that's what's really cool about this. Yes, I might have multiple slicers going at the same time, unfortunately, but um, typically, you know, I usually only use Orca. I guess I wasn't really sure what I was trying to say there. Anyways. Uh, so typically, yeah, I use Orca, but for the most part right now, I'm kind of flip-flopping between three slicers and I'll take care of that later. But let me show you what my settings are for PLA and PETG, but I've also been testing out different layer heights for support removal because occasionally I do do uh, lower um, layer heights uh, with, you know, 0 0.16, 0 0.12, and rarely do I do a 0 0.08 but I've got them dialed in. So let's go over that right now. Now for PLA, we're gonna start with that. Currently I have 0.2 layer height and uh, make sure your supports are turned on with tree supports. And I only change two things, which are the top Z that I changed to a 0.28 and I changed the support XY to a 0.5. These are really good settings. They work really well for my setup and I, you, know, you saw at the beginning. Now moving on with the PET G, I only change the support XY and the top Z as well. I keep the support XY at the 0.5 distance, but I change the top Z to a 0.38. And you saw in the beginning of the video how those supports just peel away like they're nothing. And these supports work out really, really well. Now, I'm not going to show you every single profile with all of the layer heights uh, and all of the settings. So I'm just going to post them right here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, with my 0.16 uh, from the 0.28 on PLA goes to 0.32. My 0.12 layer height goes to 0.34 and my 0.08 layer height goes to 0.38. And every, everything just pops right off. And I know I've gotten a lot of hate from uh, a reel that I did with a Mortal Kombat mask. And I literally just popped off the, uh, the bed itself, broke all the supports loose and just pulled the mask off, which is gonna be in this clip right here. And people just didn't believe me that these settings are so dialed in that the, you can see in this video that the supports themselves stuck to the bed, the mask pulled right off. These settings are 
to me, some of the best settings I've ever had, and I stick with them. Uh, they may or may not work with you. You might need to adjust a point, you know, off by 0.1, maybe change it to a 0.27 or a 0.29 for your uh, 0.2 layer height. Um, you, you're just going to have to play around with it, but typically these work. Now, the Pet G ones, um, I had numerous people try the exact same settings that I use, and they've all had the same result um, with all the different machines uh, on the 0.2 layer height. I don't go any lower than 0.2. There's no reason for me to. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have some of the detailed parts, but there's no reason to for Pet G because, well, it to me, it, it never really prints the way I'd like it to print when I start going lower than 0.2, but that's just me. It might work for you, but it does not work for me, and that's fine. I don't care, and that's why I've got my settings how I've got them. So that's basically it for my settings. Um, I, once I've got them in place, I don't mess with them anymore unless they calibrate, and then I just double-check them using a support test of some sort just to make sure I'm still good. But anyways, I just want to get that out there. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, reach out. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you as soon as I can. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, everything. Uh, and I would appreciate it. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.